This one gave me an unpleasant surprise, which we'll talk about later. Introducing the all new Longines Record Heritage Chronograph, celebrating almost two centuries of incredible watchmaking by one of my favorite brands. There's a ton of pride in this brand. They have many world firsts and of course, a storied history. One of their best is the invention of the column wheel. But sadly, this Longines chronograph does not have the column wheel. It has cam pushers and a horizontal clutch. But you still get that clicky actuation when you start and stop the chronograph. These tiny gears and levers and springs already boggle the mind. But then when you get to actuate it and use it as a functional tool, it's a great feeling. So I love mechanical chronographs. I don't have one yet. But this one is in that sweet spot. Let's do the dimensions. I got 40 millimeters in diameter, a thickness of 13.8, but that is including that double domed sapphire. If it was flat, I'm guessing we're going to be right around 12.2, which is amazing for an automatic chronograph. No drill lugs and a lug to lug of 49 E. The strap is 20 millimeters tapering down to 18 thick rugged leather. It feels good. Not as soft as I would have liked, but I think it will break in nicely. No quick release spring bars, and it does have contrast stitching with a signed winged hourglass high polished pin and buckle. The chronograph buttons here are technically pump style pushers, but with their 1950s vintage look and pill shape, I like to call them button pushers. Looks like a button to me. The case finishing on this watch is phenomenal. The brushing on the sides is so satiny smooth, done to a high degree. And on top of the lugs, the polish is gorgeous. I find myself constantly staring at the high polish on the lugs. Extremely well done. And when you hold this watch, you do get a high impression of quality right off the bat. You feel like you're holding quality. I would like to mention that the double domed sapphire does have anti-reflective coating on the top side and on the bottom side, which you may see as a negative because if the AR coating gets scratched on the top, it will look like your crystal has been scratched, even though it's not. And when we look at the rear, we get a pleasurable view. <laughs> a sapphire crystal displaying that Longines exclusive L895 with perlage work and Cotes de Genève. And I love the little detail of the skeletonized cut out winged hourglass on that rotor. One thing to take note of, during the measurements, the secret measurement was flashed on the screen, showing that this watch has an all dial look with that huge sapphire. So it may wear a little bit larger than its size indicates. But you guys be the judge with the faraway macros, you are going to see it on my 6.5 inch wrist at a distance to help you visualize how it may wear on your wrist. Now, going back to what I said at the beginning of the video, this one is very dirty underneath that crystal. There's a lot of dust and it was just a little bit shocking. I haven't seen a Longines this dirty before, but the watch is very dark and dust does really stand out on black dials. Even on top of the crystal, there were these two tiny hairs that would constantly ruin my macro shots. And I thought, oh man, I missed it. I wish Longines just took an extra five minutes to clean the underside of the sapphire and maybe blow some dust off that dial. The crown is gorgeously engraved with the wing hourglass coming in at 6.3 millimeters. Push pull, no date, giving the watch only 30 meters of water resistance. I would have loved to see at least 50 to give me that confidence with everyday wear. Now the star of the show, that beautiful matte black dial against the gold. Black and gold, one of the best color combinations. We have a gilt tachometer scale, applied hour markers and Arabics throughout, applied gold winged hourglass logo, and a beautiful golden high polished bevel that surrounds both sub dials. The hands are all completely high polished in gold with the running seconds at the three o'clock and a 30 minute timer at nine o'clock. So it's only a 30 minute chronograph. But man, it has such an interesting look. Sometimes when you look at it, it looks completely black, like you're wearing a black circle with nothing on it. Once a little bit of light hits it, the gold just catches that light and it comes to life. Interesting look. So in some lighting conditions, legibility is going to be a big problem. Keep that in mind. The movement is the Caliber L895 Alangine exclusive with the silicone balance hairspring, COSC certified, 59 hours of power reserve, 
Hack Handwind Automatic Chronograph. And it beats away at a lovely 28A VPH. Look at that, no error. And the rate, perfection. Well done, Longines. Now this movement is modular and it comes in at around 6.1 millimeters. That's a lot thinner than Longines flagship chronograph movement with the column wheel, which comes in at 7.9 millimeters. So you can get a much thinner timepiece here, which is very much appreciated. And now let's look at the rate. Amplitude did take a big drop. The air got a little bit worse, which is typical in this position. I did go a little bit long. And the fifth and final round, negative one. I'm gonna go on record. The record has not done enough. It was almost there, but a little bit lacking on that water resistance. And I don't want AR coating on the top of the sapphire. And I want a column wheel. And of course, I do want a little bit cleaner finishing on the inside of the watch. But don't get me wrong, this thing is absolutely beautiful. And it was a pleasure to film and hold and wear. I really do like it. I think if it was 38 millimeter, even with all the negatives, I would have picked one up. But guys, if you're not convinced and you want a column wheel, check out the videos on the right of your screen right now, and I'll see you in the next one.